G day, people! This is Shot Peter and he welcome you guys to episode number 44 of the Pokemon Storm Silver Egglock. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course, you are a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you like button down below for us because, as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we did make our way over to Viridian City. And lo and behold, we do get ourselves we do we did get ourselves a few more encounters in the last episode. So we've got some eggs to replace, and we also have ourselves the final gym battle of this episode. So, I figured we'd go ahead and get this episode started with some egg hatching. So, you know, we go ahead and see what um Pokemon you guys will send, because you know, I do appreciate you guys taking the time to send eggs. I do um appreciate when I ask for things when people do give things. So I do want to say thank you again to everyone, not just the people who've been sending me eggs recently, but for those who've sent eggs for the entire series, thank you very much. So before we go and have a look at the eggs, let's go ahead and have a look at the team that we have for the gym battle today, for your peoples. We've got Megatron the Metagross, Chopper the Garchomp, Panchito the Ludicolo, Got Milk the Milk Tank, Game Boy Luke, that air fan Rotom, and Shiva, the Frost Lass. So that is our team for today. Let's go ahead and have a look in our PC to see how many encounters we're going to do today, because we've got quite a few encounters. Okay, so we've got four eggs to replace, so we're going to do those right now. We have ten eggs in the PC right here. So let's go ahead and do a random number generator between one and ten. And right off the bat, the first number that comes up is number 8. So, 7, 8. This is Courtney. And it has... They misspell Courtney. It says Corn T. Um, okay, I'm going to assume that they're going to trying to spell Courtney. So, let's go ahead and uh, see what this uh, Courtney is. So, thank you to whoever sent this, um, this uh, Courtney. Uh, let's go ahead and... Um, that's going to be the replacement for this Wingle. So let's go ahead and uh, find out who this Courtney is. Um, kind of funny how they misspelt the, the Courtney, but in a way, Courtney is going to be... Oh, cute! It's a little Cleffer. Okay. So we got Courtney the Cleffer. Okay, so Court... Courtney. Courtney. I like Courtney. Courtney is a very nice name. Okay, so Courtney the Courtney, Modest Nature, has Amnesia, Wish, Substitute, and Magical Leaf. That all sounds good, but let's get the move database to verify that it is, in fact, all good in the hood. Okay, so uh, Magical Leaf is a level up move so amnesia egg move wish egg move substitute egg move so Courtney the Cleffer is legal hip hip hooray alright so Cleffer can go ahead and be added to the PC over here so that is egg one of four so let's go ahead and put that in the, the box over here Guys, we're going to have, a, like, two boxes full of spare Pokemon. I think we're going to be good. I think we're good. Okay, next up is this Finneon we're going to replace. Let's go ahead and get that number generator rolling again. Next up is number four. And number four is Teddy with leftovers. Okay, I can guess this is a Teddy Ursa. And this is, like, a big troll. But, um, <coughs> so, Teddy. Teddy, Teddy the Teddy Ursa, maybe? I mean, it's a bit obvious, just by looking at the name, um, but um, I don't think of any other bear-like Pokemon that are in Gen 4 and below, so, you know, Teddy Ursa, Teddy the Teddy Ursa seems to be the only thing I can think of that are like Big Ted, you know, from Play School, if you guys are from Australia, you know, Play School is the shit. It was that school kids show, it was that, that, that show you watched growing up with all the songs, and all the windows and all that sh all that shindig. And ladies and gentlemen, it is a Teddy Ursa. Well, I can complain, it's a Teddy Ursa. Thank you very much to whoever sent in Teddy. So we got ourselves Teddy the Teddy Ursa. 
Okay, so... I'd honestly call it Big Ted because, you know, it's going to become a Earth ring and it's like, Big Ted! But, nonetheless, we have Adamant Teddy with Return Cross Chop Crunch and Yawn. Okay, the return is actually interesting. I don't know if he gets that by level up. Maybe it's an egg move? But let's confirm. Teddy Ursa. Okay, so... Cross Chop is a... Just confirm, yep, okay. So, Cross Chop is a egg move. Yawn is an egg move. Crunch is an egg move. But Return. Is Return really a move, though? That's the, that was the move that really got me. Because I'm like, hang on, that's a TM move. Uh, I'm not seeing it as a level up move. Return. I'm not seeing it as an egg move either. So, unfortunately... Unfortunately, Teddy the Teddy Ursa is an illegal encounter. Therefore, we must re-pick the Teddy Ursa. I'm very sad because, um, you know, I, I thought I explained to everyone that it has to be moves that is by level up or by move tutor. It, uh, not move tutor, no. Only moves by level up or egg moves. You can't just, just put on moves. It is impossible. Okay. I know Teddy Ursa can get return. It can learn it if you give it a TM, which is fine. But my thing is, it has to be, it has to be legal. That that's not legal. So let's hit the number generator once again for this uh, replacement. Again, we hit four. Uh, number one. Okay, so the first, uh, the first egg that's here, and it's a puffy with poison barb. Okay, so. It's clearly a poison type. Um, Puffy? Um, what poison Pokemon puffs? I guess... Um, let's see, you've got Gulpin, you've got... Uh, Coughing... What are the po poison Pokemon puffs? Like, it's just a big puff. Uh, Quillfish? I guess Quillfish, because Puffy. Because, you know, Puffish. Um, so I'm very interested to see what this is. There's a few different poison Pokemon that this could be based off that nickname. Uh, but yeah, sadly, Teddyosa, while it does learn Return by TM, it does not get it by Level Up or Egg Move. So unfortunately, I uh, could not uh, accept that Return is a move of that caliber. I mean, unless wants to, the person who wants who sent it wants to go in the comment section and say no, actually you can. But I'm looking at the list and it's not giving me anything. So, Puffy is... Okay, it's a coughing. I actually thought it was going to be a cool fish, but hey, I'll take a coughing. I'll take a coughing. I don't think we had a coughing this Let's Play. Alright, uh, let's go with Poofy. It's all Poofy! Oh gosh, it's all Poofy! Alright, so we got Puffy the coughing. Let's go ahead and check out Puffy. Bold nature. Oh yeah, we got that Wi-Fi. It has Sludge Bomb, Will-O-Wisp, Psybeam, and Explosion. Psybeam? Coughing gets access to Psybeam? I really hope it does, because I mean, I would hate for this to become a an illegal encounter as well. Psybeam? I did not know a poison type moose could access to Psybeam type moose. Okay, so Sludge Bomb is a level up move. Um, it gets self destruct. Oh, explosion? No, no. Explosion is a level up move. I, I thought it does get both self destruct and explosion. Psybeam. It's an egg move. Wow. I did not know that. That's interesting. And Will O Wisp is an egg move as well. Therefore, Puffy the Coughing is a legal encounter. Okay, so that is two encounters down. So we're halfway there. Um, like I said, unfortunate, but you know. Um, that illegal encounter did drag things a bit. Um, I didn't expect that Teddy Ursa to be illegal, but the return... That's why I was like, hang on, return is a TM move. That's why I was like, I don't think there's any Pokemon that can learn return by level up. I'm pretty sure there's... I mean, someone wants to correct me in the comment section. 
Okay, number 217, we've got number 7, which is this one right here. Old Yeller with a Firestone. Um, okay. So, clearly it's a dog type Pokemon. We're going to get this Firestone off. So this could be, I mean, well the only two Pokemon that comes to my mind is Vulpix and uh, Growlithe. Because Old Yeller is like a dog reference. Um, but Old Yeller, I want to, I don't think it looks, sounds like a Vulpix, maybe Growlithe, maybe? Um, I don't think, I mean, I can't think of anything else that requires a Firestone to evolve. Um, unless it's an Eevee to evolve into Flareon, that's possible, because that's very yellow. Um, what other Pokemon evolves with a Firestone? Well, no time like the present, we're going to find out. Old Yeller is, in fact... Oh, I called it! It's a Growlithe! Great! It's a Growlithe. Coolio's. Alright, so we got ourselves Old Yeller. I really do love the nickname Yamatarasu though. Old Yeller, eh, seems a bit like a very, uh... Yeah, it's an old name for Old Yeller. Oh, yeah. Don't like Old Yeller. Yeah, it, just, it makes me feel old. It makes me feel old. Okay, so Old Yeller, the uh, Growlithe, Adamant Nature, and it has Flare Blitz, Crunch, Reversal, and Morning Sun. Damn, I think that's all legal. I'm pretty sure that's all legal, but let's just double check. Let's just double check here. So we have uh, Growlithe. Check that all checks out. Okie dokie. Uh, Crunch and Flare Blitz are both level up moves. Reversal is a level up move. And Morning Sun is an egg move. So, Old Yeller, the Growlithe, is legal. Good stuff. Good stuff, people. Alright. So, we've got one more egg to do, and then I guess we can start doing the gym battle, which is awesome. I bet you guys are like, Can you hurry up with the egg hatchy? We want to see the battle! And I'm like, okay guys, I'm sorry, but, you know, i got to give respect to people who, you know, they send eggs, you know. I, I, I do appreciate it, so this is my way of giving back to those who want to send eggs. Okay, once again, number between 1 and 10, it's going to be number 3. Last egg is going to be number 3, and it's going to be this one that says Caretaker with an Oval Stone. Now, the fact that it has an Oval Stone, there's only one Pokemon that needs an Oval Stone. There's only one Pokemon in existence that needs an Oval Stone. So, unless this is just an item meant to be given to help another Pokemon, um, I'm going to go in a hinge and say that this little Pokemon is none other than Happini. Because no other Pokemon in the game requires an Oval Stone, except Happini. Because if you let Happini hold the Oval Stone and level it up during the day, it evolves to Chansey. So, this, I believe, has to be a Happini. Unless, it's, like I said, it's just a troll item, but it is in fact a... Use your head, people. This is why you use your head. So we're going to have ourselves Caretaker. I like that nickname, Caretaker. Like it's, you know, like someone who's looking after you. It's your Caretaker. You know, Chansey is the Caretaker Pokemon, the nurse Pokemon. They always help you, take care of you, you know, hence the name Caretaker. Alright, so Caretaker. Bold nature with charm, sweet kiss, counter, and substitute. A lot of these movesets are very... I don't know how they will go about in a, in a Let's Play, but in a Wi-Fi battle, they will be on point. So, Happini. I was thinking about uh, Pokemon Clover. They actually remade Happini in the in game as ha uh, Hagini, and it is dark as fuck. Okay, so Sweet Kiss is a level up move. Charm is also a level up move. And then we have Substitute and Counter which are both egg moves. So, this is legal. This is also legal, so that is good. So, thank you very much to those who sent eggs. We are down now to our last five eggs, and I think we won't need any more eggs. I think that will be all the eggs that we need for this Let's Play, because we've got now two full boxes, oh my lord, of, um, 
We've got two full boxes full of our encounters. Like, holy shit. I was not expecting, you know. But I'm pretty sure we'll um, we'll still get some encounters. I think we've got, like, Mount Silver. Um, we've got... Uh, I can't think of any more, more areas. I mean, we've got Viridian Forest, but... I don't know if I really want to um, go ahead and go in there. Oh, someone called the Blobbers! Oh, that makes me think of uh, uh, Snakewood. Uh, not Snakewood. Fucking uh, Clover, because I love Blobbers. Blobbers. I love Blobbers. It has the cutest cry. If you guys ever play Pokemon Clover, I would definitely recommend playing it. It is an awesome game. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, now that the egg hatching has finished, we are now ready to head over to the gym. Yep, this thing right here. And we're ready to throw down with blue. Let's do this, people! Yo, Legend the Maker! This floor here is unstable, so you should put away your Pokemon now. The gym is a leader is a uh, the gym leader is a guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover, give it everything you've got. Okay, so I, now we have to remember which of these exactly leads to it. So having a look here at the right path. I believe the far right path is going to take us somewhere. So let's go that one. Let's see where it leads us. Okay, so now we can... If we go to the little red arrow, it's basically going to take us... So let's go like this. Okay. Um, we go up and over. Then it does like that. Yep. Oh, crap. Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, let's go up, and then left, and down, and left, and up. Okay, we're actually getting this, guys, on the first attempt, too. Holy shit. Um, and then everything is pointing down. So, which way do I have to go? So, if I go, I'm trying to find a way to get to that. How am I supposed to do this? Oh yeah, I, I see it. It's this red arrow over here. And you go left and up. And then you go all the way down the middle. Oh, there's a double battle to stop you. That's a new addition. <laughs> I'm Ida. Next to me is Alan. Together we're in a double team. Alright, let's get this fight started. Come on. Okay, that's not fair, guys. That's not fair. That's bullshit. I never recall a double battle being at the end of this tunnel. We have a clay doll and we have a Hepaldon. Okay, now, one problem that I have here is that Megatron is in no position to be in this fight. So we're going to go ahead and swap into Game Boy Luke. As for my boy Garchomp over here, we're going to try to get rid of this, uh, this Hepaldon. So let's go ahead and swap out here and bring in Game Boy Luke. Now, considering ground types are a thing, I'm expecting either Earth Powers or Earthquakes coming our way. And these are level 68s, guys. Look at this here. Ice Beam. <gasps> oh, you sneaky bitch. You sneaky motherfucker. Oh, no. Don't you dare. Oh, my fucking God. Are you serious? Really, a critical hit ice beam just before we get to the battle. For fuck's sake, why? I don't appreciate this. <coughs> Jesus Christ, dude, what the fuck? Oh my god, dude, what the hell? Okay, so the clay doll is protect. Oh my god, this is such bullshit! It wasn't bad enough it had ice beam. It was bad enough it got the crit on top of the ice beam. Oh my god, dude, this is... Oh my god. Alright, we're going to air slash this clay doll and we're going to hydro pump the absolute fuck out of this head powder. on. Okay, Cloudout gets a double protect. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, fine. This Hydro Pump's gonna freaking flatline this fucking Hippowdon. There is no way Hippowdon's gonna live this. No fucking way would you live that. There's no way. It's in the rain. You, you're, you're weak as shit. 
Oh, man. That is rough, guys. That is so rough. Like, this double battle wasn't even meant to happen, and it just it bombards us like this. Like, dude, really? Now, to save our Hydro Pumps, we're going to go for an Air Slash and an Energy Ball to make sure that we can hit this thing. So, we, ha we already know we outspeed Claydol with everything. So, I'm sure Energy Ball plus Air Slash should get the Claydol kill. I'm pretty sure it should. See, I was gonna say, I knew it wouldn't kill, but the air slash would be enough to get the kill on it. Oh my. Damn it, freaking. Yeah, crit for what? Yeah, irrelevant crit because it's at the end, for fuck's sake. Oh. Wow, you're really something. Well, this is. Shut the fuck up, okay? Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear your shit. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, uh, and now I have to verse someone. Great! I love this. Oh my god! All right, I'm gonna speed through this. Earthquake boy, you are not doing shit to me, boy. You are not doing shit to me. I'm not even worried. Just, just stop. Just boy, just stop. Just stop. Okay, just, just stop it. You're gonna dragon dance on me, really, dude? And you were that cocky, you would just set up at Dragon Dances. Boy, get the fuck out of here, okay? Alright, so this goes up and then down and left. Then, and then we go... So what the hell are we supposed to do then? Oh! I get it. Oh, whoops. Okay, now I'm realizing the error I'm making. Okay, okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay. So, we made a mistake. The double battle was always here, I'm pretty sure, and I just made the wrong move. Okay. So, unfortunately, due to that critical hit, we're going to be going to this battle, unfortunately, with one man short. I hope it doesn't come back to bite us in the ass. But considering that this is a ground type gym, I really feel like we're going to need to rely on a few members today. So, um, I'm going to get things, taking things off of Shiva. Because of ice types. So here we go! Yo, finally got you, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? <laughs> Johto's gyms are that pathetic? Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you are good or not by battling you right now. Uh boy, I just had something happen to me and I'm not in the mood for your fucking bullshit, okay? You need to stop while you're behind. Okay. Nita Queen is the first Pokemon. Okay. So we got things kicking off against Nita Queen. Okay, fair enough. I see you there. I'm there for an Ice Beam and this should do the damage to Nita Queen. This has got to do the damage. This has got to get the kill on Nita Queen. There's no ifs, ands, or buts at this point. We need to land these... Doesn't kill. Toxic Spikes! Really? Okay. Now I see where this is going. So now, basically, the only Pokemon on my team that's going to be affected by this... Well, basically, are two Pokemon. Ponchito and uh, Got Milk. That's a problem. That is a big problem. Um, yeah, that, that, that is a big problem, but unfortunately there's not much we can do about it, and I'm just making sure he doesn't heal again. So, we did get the kill Nita Queen, but she he does get the Toxic Spike set up. Okay, so, now it's 5v5. Okay, next up, Tyranta. And this is the Ace, apparently. Okay, this is apparently the Ace. Let's go for an Aura Sphere. It's quite effective. So we should get some damage done to this Tyranitar. Quite effective. You don't think that a... Uh, a, a...
fuck would I think? <laughs> what the hell, dude? What the fuck? This is a bit of a problem. I would go for hammer arm, but I think medium mash would do more damage and stab. Uh, it's more power, base power, so yeah, and it's a crit too. <laughs> just, just, to, just, to, just to put that extra salt on top of it. It is super critical, and down it goes. All right, sandstorm raiders, so we're still fine. Now it's four v four. Rhyperia is next. Okay. I'm still confident we could live one Earthquake from Rhyperia. I'm pretty confident we can. So we're going to go for the Medium Mash. I know it might be Solid Rock, so I know that it will probably live one, maybe two Medium Mashes. Or will live definitely... Okay. And we get the Attack Boost. Okay, that helps a lot. That helps a lot. Now, Earthquake will do some damage, but it will not kill us. But it will not kill us. Unless this fucking bitch gets a crit, it will not kill us. I mean, Megatron is a big, bulky motherfucker. As I've proven, it will get the job done. But we've got to make sure we survive these hits, though. Okay. So now, Bullet Punch should get the kill. We're plus one, so Bullet Punch should get the kill. The only thing is I'm afraid of me and Mash missing. So, plus one Bullet Punch should get the kill on Rapiria, which it does. Good stuff. Okay. So that's good news for us. That's good news for us. So I knew that Megatron would survive. We're at plus one attack at the moment, so things are looking a little bit better. Hyper Beam? No, we're not gonna learn Hyper Beam, okay? You're gonna get out of here and not learn that, okay? Great, thanks. <sighs> okay, so next up is Machamp. Okay. This is a problem. Now, more than likely, he could go for cross chop. Actually, this thing could be, um, no guard. We should be able to oust. No, should I risk it though? That's the thing. Okay. <sighs> These are things you have to think about. The only thing he could do is cross chop, and that will probably do just over half health. So. I'm going to use my first heal for this battle on Megatron, expecting this Marchamp to go for a either a Dynamic Punch with no guard or a Cross Chop. If I had to guess, I'm going to guess Dynamic Punch. Fire Punch! You have Fire Punch! Hey, but that doesn't do jack shit. But that doesn't do jack shit. So we are good with that. We are good with that. I'm actually A-OK -okay with that. I am more than happy to work with that. I am more than happy to work with that. And a plus one Zen Headbutt, Marchamp, I don't care who you are, you ain't living that. There is no way you are living that. No, 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 no. Unless you have some iron defenses up, but no, you don't learn that, so you can't do that. So, haha. -ha. So, Megatron looks like you are going to help me get over the finish line, which is great, because that's why I use you. Next up is Gyarados. And now we lose our attack boost. Why did you send this in first? This is what I don't understand, okay? You set up the toxic spikes like a pro. I'll give you that. That was a pro move. But then you do this shit. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. So what would Garrus want to do? I want to swap into Game Boy Luke because Game Boy Luke does have the move that this Garrus don't like. And that is the discharge. So, it goes for bounce. Okay. Goes for bounce. Now, I'm pretty sure Game Boy Luke outspeeds Gyarados. So I'm going to go for substitute. There we go. <clears throat> Making the plays, people. Making the plays. And because we resist bounce, hopefully we'll be able to maintain substitute. Not very effective. And we keep our substitute. <clears throat> This is how you do the plays, people! This is how you do the plays! The plays for days! Going for a quad effective discharge, it's stab. Gyarados, you are not leaving this. No way are you leaving this. No, 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 no. You are not. You are not. You are not. So down goes the Gyarados. Good shit! This is exactly why I prepare for these sorts of things here, but 
Unfortunately, we got crit ice beamed, and then we got... Well, we didn't kill with the thing. Last is Executor. Dude! Game Boy Luke is the perfect Pokemon for this moment. And I'm so glad that the... The fan... I missed Air Slash. Are you serious? Trick Room! Oh shit! We're seeing Trick Room in action! Oh god. Okay, this is a thing now. Okay, now we're seeing Trick Room in effect. Okay, so... Now Substitute has faded, which is unfortunate. We're gonna go for Air Slash. We're gonna get a very good hit on that Executor. Oh, look at that. That is some good... Oh, was that a crit? It was a crit! That was for the Guard Chomp. That was for the fucking Guard Chomp. Oh, let's get it! Woo! Woo! That was a battle. God damn. So, unfortunately, we didn't lose a Pokemon. We lost Shiva. And we lost Guard Chomp before this. So, we went down a man, and we still managed to get through this. So that is, um... That is very good. That is excellent. No way! How the heck did I lose to you? Tish! Alright. Here, take this. It's the Earth Badge. And that is the final Gym Badge of the Kanto lineup. It is Gym Badge number 8 of the Kanto region. Which means not only did we conquer Johto, but now we have conquered the Kanto region. Fuck yeah! With this badge, you'll be able to use the HM Move Rock Climb. Here, take this as well. It's Trick Room. Aha. It allows slower Pokemon to move before faster Pokemon for a while. It's a very tricky move, isn't it? Hence the name. Uh. In hope that I'll triumph over you, here is my phone number. Well, I don't know how having my phone number would help you triumph over me, but okay, I'm not gonna judge. I ain't gonna judge. I ain't gonna judge. And, uh, yeah, that's the battle, guys. Oh, jeez. That hit from Claydol, that crit ice beam, that really blows. That really, that was a low blow from the go. It's like, yo, are you serious? Ugh. But, but, we lose Pokemon. It's what happens. Hello, this is Professor Oak. Oh, you don't have to say anything. I know better than anyone else, than anyone else how hard you're working. I thought I should get you a present or something in appreciation. Well, I picked something up, but I completely forgot to give it to you. <laughs> Real nice. Oh, you don't have to wonder about it at all. I know it's something that will be very helpful for you. You should just come here and pick it up. I'll be waiting for you at my laboratory in Pallet Town. Okay. So, with that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead now and uh, say that this has been an episode. This has definitely been an episode. Uh, let's take off. Yeah, no item. And you had no what? None of my Pokemon have items. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought I had like leftovers and shit. Nope, apparently I got nothing. I got nothing. So unfortunately, it is with a heavy heart that we say goodbye to not only Chop of the Garchomp, but we also say goodbye to Shiva as well. Shiva, the Frost Lass, you were such a goddess. You were such a diva. Shiva the diva. But now we have two more Pokemon that we need to add to the team. And I won't tell you guys what Pokemon I'm going to add. Leave some suggestions down below. And I'll confirm whether you're on the mark, correct. Or I'll just say wait till the next episode. Because then I'll surprise you guys and say surprise. Here's the final team. So what's left to do in this game? Let me explain to you guys. So we're going to go and take on the Elite Four one more time because we've taken on the Kanto region. Then we're going to go at Mount Silver and then take on Red and then that is the end of this Let's Play. So this Let's Play is coming to an end really soon and then we can start another project which I already have lined up ready to go. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I definitely have enjoyed this Let's Play here. Um, I've definitely learned a lot about um, egg locks and all that sort of thing while doing this because it has been a while since I've done an egg lock, um, well, an egg lock that requires you to put the eggs manually in yourself. So I've definitely learned a lot. So I just want to give a big thank you to the people who sent eggs. Um, you know who you guys are. I've got a whole list of you in my emails, but honestly, 
Thank you guys so much for those 10 eggs because without your eggs, this Let's Play would not be what it is without your without your support, without your eggs, without your contributions, and without your support for not just this Let's Play, but for me and my channel. So a big thank you to you guys. But guys, if you enjoy, hit the like button down below because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. Stay tuned for the next episode. Next episode, we go down to Pallet Town to find out what this present is. We may hatch those last few eggs because I do believe we've got a few more encounters left and then that's it. And then, uh, yeah, Elite Four, I believe, is next. Round two. So I think I'll get everyone trained up to, I think, 70... I think, well, that was like 71, 72. Well, 70 was the ace. So I knew the ace was going to be 70. But because we're taking on the Elite Four, and as you know, the Elite Four all gradually boost up in levels. I do believe level 78 would be a good number. 78, I do believe, would be a good number. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned for the next episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves wherever you are. And until the next time I see you guys in the next episode, in the next video, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!